It was meant to be the culmination of a century of Nicaraguan dreams, the country's very own Great Canal linking the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Built by a Chinese billionaire, handed a generous concession by the government. In 2013, everyone was talking about it. But we found not a stone's been laid. At this point, there was a big ceremony to inaugurate the building of the canal. But as you can see, six years later, there's nothing here but a dusty road. Why has the canal failed to materialize? The short story, the billionaire lost most of his billions before work could get started. But the ripples are still being felt particularly in the form of a law passed especially for the project that says any properties needed can be expropriated. That law is still on the books. There's still the risk that thousands of campesinos could have their land expropriated and occupied by private interests. That's why the citizens demand that the law be struck down. It's a permanent worry for Casta Leonor and her family. When the canal was first planned, workers showed up to measure out their house. When they protested, things turned nasty. They almost broke our heads. The National Guard had us lying down on the motorway. And if we lifted our heads, they stomped on them. They swore at us, hit us with sticks. They broke my brother's ribs. It was just a forced state of wider state repression in the country. When police ransacked and then occupied her office, Monica Lopez fled to Costa Rica. Castellanos family still fears they'll be targeted again. While this government is in power, we are not safe. Everyone that they grabbed and put in jail is at risk. And the government's still budgeting for the canal authority it set up, despite the lack of progress. We went from office to office looking for the man who heads it, Manuel Coronel, but couldn't find him. Our interview request to the government also went unanswered. To all intents and purposes, it seems this is now a ghost project. But while it exists, at least on paper, it's still hanging over those who never wanted it in the first place. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Nicaragua.